I'm Martin and today I want to show you how you can uh, use responsive images in your WordPress blog. So there are a couple of different um, plugins and solutions for WordPress to have responsive images but um, since I don't know a few weeks there is a WordPress plugin by the responsive images community group which is basically now the official responsive images plugin for WordPress and it will also be included in the WordPress 4.4 core so as soon as the new WordPress version 4.4 um, is released you don't need the plugin anymore but you can use the plugin now because it will be um, exactly the same than the WordPress core. So um, at the moment I've um, cloned uh, my, my site locally to work on it and I've stripped all responsive images functionalities out of it and so if I have this post about um, Dave Rupert's chat, um, a really nice guest post by him, so thank you Dave. Um, I have images here which are included at the full size of 1200 pixels and are only displayed at 600 pixels and um, yeah that's that's bad but um, they are included so they look on the retina screen very nice and if you sc uh, squish down the viewport they just stay um, with this source and that's bad for performance. I don't have to tell you that that's um, clear you load in a way too big image and therefore we want responsive images so we can load a smaller image on a smaller viewport. Um, let's install the responsive images community group plugin. So try it here it is. Install it now. And if it's installed we activate it and that's all we have to do. So there are no configurations, nothing. It will just work out of the box and um, that's the same that will be um, happening if WordPress 4.4 is released. So um, if we edit the post, we have this um, this image with width of 1200 and height of 900 and we update the post one time and view the post again, inspect and we see there is a lot of stuff going on. We have an source set attribute, can make this bigger for you maybe, um, and we have a sizes attribute and yeah that's nice because now we can load a smaller image um, if the viewport is smaller. So let's, let's see, reload this page and we get um, the 320 image instead of the 1200 and um, you can see the um, image size is much smaller. And on a bigger screen we get the bigger image. That's nice. But now we load uh, the image with a width of 1200 pixels, um, the original image um, although we only show it at 600 pixels and we are on a 1x screen. So that's still bad, I guess. Um, so let's go back one step. Um, where are all these uh, sizes in the source set attribute are coming from? That's the question and uh, you can find the answer under settings and media and the sizes that you define here um, are all the sizes an image gets cropped to um, if you upload an image. So we have a thumbnail size of 300 by whatever the right aspect ratio height will be, a medium size 600 and a large size 1200. So um, that's all good because this is the, the width of the content and this is um, the retina image from that and this is just a smaller version. Now um, if we are in the post and remove the image for once, add media and let's update it again, uh, upload it again. Shed original is 1200 pixels wide. Okay, upload, there it is. And now we have the full size, we have 
um, the large. This is um, from the media settings, which is basically the same. Full size can be bigger if you upload an even bigger image. Um, it will show this here and the large preset, the medium preset, the thumbnail preset. And if you add the image to your editor, it's important that you insert the um, size, preset size, that the image will be um, displayed at uh, on the largest um, design part. I would call it um, because the the larger image presets are only for retina screens. So um, you insert the the medium. Um, now the image with 600 pixels. We preview the changes. That's uh, looking all good. And we look in the network and we load only the 600 um, image. Um, and that's good. So in the source set we still have the 300, the 600 and the 1200 width and the sizes attribute says if the viewport has a max width of 600 pixels the image um, will be displayed at a viewport width uh, at 100% of the viewport width. So and um, otherwise the image is just 600 pixels wide um, and that's that's right. If the viewport is bigger than 600 pixels, the image is always 600, and then the browser can uh, decide uh, which source to load, either the 600 width image for a 1x display or the 1200 width image for a 2x display. And if the um, viewport is 600 pixels wide or smaller, um, yeah, load in, load in the image. Um, which is the right, right one and um, that's not entirely true because of the padding here it's not the image is not really 100% wide of the of the viewport um, but that's it's as close as it gets with the um, automated WordPress plugin um, and so the image that is loaded is uh, never too small at, um, but maybe sometimes it's a little, um, a little bit too big, but I guess it's okay. Um, yeah, there's no better way to do it um, automated for all the WordPress users. So um, let's say the, the viewport is really, really small. We reload the page and you can see the shed. Oh no, it has to be even smaller to trigger the really small size. So maybe 300 pixels for the smallest image is, is a little bit too small. But you, now you can see the the small image is loaded, and if the viewport gets bigger, the bigger image is loaded, and if the viewport is bigger than 600 pixels, and we are on a 2x display, and reload the page, you can see the original is loaded, um, because now we want to support the Retina display, and um, yeah, so it's important that you import the image. Uh, into the post, um, which is has a width of the content column and not the full size image, because the full size image will still be included in the source set and used if necessary. Yeah. So, um, if you don't want to uh, define your uh, image presets in the media settings and want to rather do it. Uh, in the functions PHP, which is what I do a lot of the times, you can add the image size with the label and the width of the image. And all these sizes will be generated if you upload an image to WordPress. And the problem is none of these presets is showing up in the add media dialog. If you want that to happen, you have to add the filter. Um, I have a function called MW image sizes to the image size names choose and this is the code here is the image size you want to add which for me is the medium image which has a 600 pixels um, which is 600 pixel wide and this is the label we want to use and if we save this and then reload the page and add media. 
select the image then we have we don't have content image or maybe we have to upload the image again because um, the new sizes are not generated yet so wait a second no idea why it's taking so long it's just on a local machine but okay there it is and now we have the content image which is the label I've defined here and with the width of 600 pixels which is this preset and now I can insert it into the post um, it is here at the top replace the old one and now we can preview the changes see it's just uh, working as before but now we have a lot of uh, a lot more um, of the image sizes so if you need more than the built-in 3.1 by WordPress you can add your own sizes and yeah have them here which is nice um, if you change your if you change your themes or I don't know um, I just like it more to define all the sizes in the functions PHP with the theme and not in the settings of WordPress so um, what I do is I go into the settings settings media and set all of these to zero zero so they won't be created and WordPress only creates the preset sizes I define in the functions PHP and um, yeah I think that's for me it's a better way and then I add the content image with to the media upload dialog drop down thing and yeah and it's all working so that's how you add responsive images to a simple block a WordPress blog um, use the responsive images community group plugin at the moment and as soon as WordPress 4.4 is out you can just deactivate and delete the plugin and it will be included in the WordPress core which is pretty awesome I think and um, you don't have to uh, include picture fill this um, the plugin or WordPress core will include picture fill in the newest version and yeah just awesome thank you all for um, making this plugin um, happening here are the authors and a few more will recognize a lot of the names and yeah thank you guys and yeah thank you for watching and if you have any questions regarding responsive images in in WordPress or regarding the plugin or anything I just said then just hit me up on Twitter at underscore Martin Wolf um, send me an email hello at martinwolf.org or just leave a YouTube comment I'm happy to help or at least try to help you as good as I can so see you next time and bye